In this session, we will learn about mobile networks. We have already discussed this topic in the previous lesson as well. So, what is mobile networks? Can you remember? Mobile networks refers to wireless networks. Network that is connected wireless without any wires are called as mobile networks. This is a technical term that is given to the word wireless networks. Okay, so the first one that we are going to see here is cellular network. A mobile network is also called as a cellular network. Just now we learnt that a wireless network is a mobile network and a mobile network is also called as a cellular network. Wireless network is one thing, mobile network is one thing, cellular network is one thing. Okay, so a mobile network or a cellular network is made up of large number of signal areas called cells. I told you this word in the last uh, lesson itself, cell. Cell is the coverage area with one base station. Base station is the tower in the last class. So, cell is nothing but the area that is covered by the base station. Look at the second point. The service area of each base station is called as a cell. Evlo duratika and the tower lend the signals and pamodimo adida adoda service area and solo. Okay. So a mobile network or a cellular network is made up of a large number of signal areas. Engala signal karikiro. Large number of signal areas. Naraya signal areas change the word mobile network and number solro. Cellular network and solro. So these cells. Cells are another coverage areas. They join to form a large coverage area. So when users cross from one cell to another, or area and the inner area, pomo, in the tower one ka nearest arco, in the base station one ka close arco, nearest arco, adil in one ka signals transmit ahum. Okay, look at the third point given there. Each mobile terminal, mobile terminal is a device. That is laptop, mobile phone, tab, iPhone. So each mobile terminal, mobile is a moving term, moving. Okay, don't always think of your mobile phones. Okay, here mobile networks means wireless network. Okay, wireless terminal means wireless device is typically served by the closest base station. So as you move, you will get signals from the nearest base stations okay so that users can cross different areas different cells without losing their connection so which within each cell there is a base station which sends and receives the mobile signals so base station is nothing but the tower that I told you so it sends as well as receives signals okay so mobile signals a mobile device which will connect to the nearest or least base station. So base stations are connected to digital exchange like telephone exchange where the communication is sent to other telephone data or data networks. Okay, look at this picture given here. So you have this control panel. You would have seen this control panel, isn't it, for telephone network. Uh, this uh, box with a lot of wires and equipments. So, cells will be often smaller in size in large towns and uh, as the number of uh, a users in that area is more. Even the towns, the cells will be smaller in cells and coverage areas. So, coverage areas are in the coverage areas are in the towers. One of the large towns will be used in the large towns. So, cells will be often small. Cell is the coverage areas. Okay, cells. Coverage areas will be often smaller in size in large towns. And there are many coverage areas. There are many coverage areas because many people will be using it in large towns. Okay. And moreover, not only data communication, you can also send images, videos, audio, etc. All of us have messages and SMS. So nowadays we all use images, audio and video. So communication over this network may be voice, data, images as well as text messages. Okay. So as you can see in the picture, there are macro cells and micro cells. So micro cells are urban. Urban means large towns, cities. Okay. Cities are in the city. There are many cell areas, coverage areas, many base stations. Whereas rural areas are in the distance because there will be only very less number of people using it. 
okay so before getting on to generations of mobile networks i would like to have a quick revision so what is mobile networking wireless networking it is also called as cellular network so i want you to learn two important terms one is cells another one is base station நீ வந்து டவர் இருக்கு செல்போன் டவர் இருக்குன்னு கொலோக்கியலா சொல்றது தான் கரெக்டான டேர்ம் என்ன சொல்றாங்க பேஸ் ஸ்டேஷன் சொல்றாங்க ஸோ அதுல இருந்து எவ்வளவு தூரத்துக்கு சிக்னல்ஸ் ரிசீவ் ஆகுதோ அது அந்த கவரேஜ் ஏரியாவை என்ன சொல்றோம் நம்ம செல்னு சொல்றோம் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் த டூ டேர்ம்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் செல் அண்ட் அதர் ஒன் இஸ் பேஸ் ஸ்டேஷன் தீஸ் ஆர் த டூ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டேர்ம்ஸ் இன் மொபைல் நெட்ஒர்க்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ மொபைல் நெட்ஒர்க்ஸ் இட் இட் சப்போர்ட்ஸ் வாய்ஸ் டேட்டா and network connectivity using radio transmission solution so it can also support different type of mobile networks okay so that may be uh, uh, different uh, companies like airtel vodafone jio and everything so but they all uh, follow a standard format and whatever your mobile phone brand may be it supports all types of mobile phone so they all follow a common standard format which we will learn later for transmitting data voice etc okay so using packet switching network or circuit switching network we learned about packet switching in the last class so your messages are divided into small small uh, packets and they are sent across the and each packet is called as a datagram do you remember that word datagram and it is sent across the network and reaches the destination puts it all together as a simple message and it sent it is delivered to the destination okay so that's all with mobile networks now we'll move on to the generations of mobile networks what type of mobiles are we using now 4g mobile right so what about 1g 2g 3g and what about the upcoming 5g we are, we are just looking in the news that uh, many for foreign countries they, they they have launched 5g mobiles uh, though it is not in common market in india there are people who are still using 5g mobiles it has come into market actually 5g mobiles okay Uh, so 5g technology so now we are using 4g technology isn't it so we will also learn this uh, from the beginning okay from the evolution of uh, mobile networks so first one is first generation uh, in the it was in the year it was introduced in the year 1981 um, nmt nmt stands for nordic mobile telephone communication okay it's a company's name nmt launch and then second generation computers uh, were second gen sorry second generation mobile phones were around 1991 and uh, gsm was introduced here so between second generation and 2g and 3g mobiles there was a bridge called 2.5g we will learn about all this in detail in the coming topics okay so third generation mobiles and then now we are using fourth generation mobiles from 2007 and then fifth generation mobiles are already in existence in foreign countries right down for common man we didn't get it but uh, it is still in existence okay now we will learn about the history in detail okay so this is a general comparison from 1g to 5g okay so uh, 1g mobiles uh, they were at a very low speed of 2.4 kilobits per second so you can have you can see the pictures of 1g to 5g mobiles here okay and 2g they had a little uh, more uh, configure higher configuration with high speed 64 kilobits per second and then 3g mobiles went on to 2 megabits per second 4g mobiles nowadays we use at 100 megabits per second and more than that and 5g mobiles are expected to pro- Uh, work in a speed of 1 gigabytes per second okay so this is a general comparison of 1g 2g 3g 4g and 5g mobile networks okay now we'll move on to 1g mobile networks so it was uh, developed around 1980s uh, exactly 1981 and it was completed around early 1990s so it is all based on analog transmission there was no digital transmission it was all based on analog transmission and the speed was only up to 2.4 kilobits per second can you see the picture of the 1g phone so this is a picture of a 1g phone shown at the top right and uh, nmt here stands for nordic mobile telephone 
communication nmt uh, nmt was launched nmt launched it okay and there was very low traffic density of one call per radio channel it was a very poor voice call quality it was not encrypted so it was easy to spoof spoofing means nadula call pesra pe nadula tap panni enna pesranga nalla hack panni kandupidichala so there was no security at that time it was the first time mobile phones were introduced around 1980s and 1990s okay so spoofing is uh, un- unknown source they they are disguised as trusted source and they hear your conversation over the mobile so this was a threat for business organizations avanga deals na velila therinjirum illaya so that was a threat and there was very poor voice quality so this was not much popular but anyway it was a milestone and then 2g was developed so this became the first popular uh, technology in mobile phone okay because 1g we had analog transmission we have learned about analog and digital isn't it so analog means waves that change continuously values that change continuously whereas digital transmission is in the forms of zeros and ones okay binary binary transmission zeros and ones so digital transmission was made with gsm technology gsm stands for global system for mobile communication and uh, the frequency used for transmitting the data was 900 megahertz high chi set stands for hertz high chi r t e z and 1800 megahertz so and gsm mobile started using sim ipo solrom na ellarum sim potrukiya mobile la enna sim potruka so what does sim stand for sim stands for subscriber identity module okay so this is an example picture of a 2g mobile it uses cdma technology so so it, here look at two technologies given in the next point tdma and cdma this were the two technologies used for transmission in 2g mobile so these are te- technical terms tdma stands for time division multiple access and cdma stands for code division multiple access learn the technical terms along with the uh, abbreviations okay expansions so here it authenticates user for identification and billing purposes so sim irukanaala or particular yaar 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 ku idu vandu yaaroda mobile who does it belong to abingiradhu vandu it was easy to identify because of sim so sim abingra and the concept vandathu 2g mobiles la dhaan so it increases the amount of information transferred so many of it was a very uh, popular technology and many of them started using mobile phones only with 2g they were fascinated so mobile mobility mobility means this wireless uh, uh, ability to transfer data was supported at layer 2 layer 2 ngrada inge edha mention pandranga na roaming was enabled ipo romba common a pochu namak roaming ngrada when you move from one place to another so they'll say roaming facility has become available so nowadays it is so common idu or periya vishayamave theriyadhu ungalku but at those times this roaming radu or pudhiya concept ungalku okay so at those times so this roaming facility roaming i hope you all know about roaming facility when you move from one uh, geographic area to another supposing you move from one place to another place you automatically connect to that particular base station network and you receive a message welcome to so and so you have you, you are now connected to this uh, mobile area isn't it so this mobility was introduced in this 2g mobiles only so this was a great milestone in mobile technology this 2g mobiles so they they allowed you to have seamless roaming what do you mean seamless roaming tada illama okay so it automatically switch over to the base station nearer and it uh, automatically it started receiving signals so that uh, the user can get uh, data easily okay so next one is they had agreements even in place to permit roaming so to uh, when you move from one state to another state you automatically get get it isn't it welcome to karnataka you automatically get it when you move from one state to another state welcome to kerala and all that your mobile gets access to the to their base stations so there was an agreement between states to do also all that so all these happened uh, in 2g mobiles gsm launch was an important uh, milestone gsm launch was uh, possible only because of sim sim and the concept was the 2g la da now we'll uh, move on to 2.5g a second 
అండ్ థర్డ్ జనరేషన్ బ్రిడ్జ్ సెకండ్ జనరేషను థర్డ్ జనరేషన్కు నడువుల ఇన్ ద టూ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ జి విత్ జిపిఆర్ఎస్ లాంచ్ జిపిఆర్ఎస్ స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ జనరల్ ప్యాకెట్ రేడియో సర్వీస్ so it enabled mobile devices to send and receive not only messages text messages picture messages and even emails where mails emails were all introduced in 2.5g okay so this is an excess period of mobile networking development idu or peri fast period of development mobile networking alla idu or golden period nu solrana ariya per they started using mobile phones okay so gprs is a data service which enables mobile devices to send and receive text messages picture messages and emails as well so it allows uh, an operating speed of 115 kilobits per second that was considered to be a little faster at those times okay and then later uh, it went to a maximum of 384 kilobits per second using a technology called edge last uh, and second generation we learnt uh, two technologies one is cdma and the uh, other one is tdma isn't it now we are uh, we have learnt another technology that is edge enhanced data rates for global evolution okay so gsm data transmission rates are typically reached 9.6 kilobits per second as well so you will have to learn all this because i'm uh reading each and every point because this is a big question okay mobile networks so this 2.5g was in between second and third generation so it was called as a second to third generation bridge and that's why the two, uh, 2.5g and the main concept here is gprs general packet radio service okay now we'll move on to the next one and it is 3g so here 3g mobiles were introduced first in 2003 um and this gen- generation of mobile system merges different technologies edella positivity undicho and the positive points la eduthu they used uh, it together and uh, they had a different uh, mobile technology standard and it uses high frequency brand for transmission and uh, cdma we learned this word isn't it cdma so cdma stands for code division multiple access they can deliver data up to 2 megabits per second and 3g mobiles la mms la anuparamshanga multimedia messaging service we learned 2g la pictures anuponom but we were not able to send 2g mobiles la audio video la nammala panna mudiyala so then but we were able to do it in 3g mobiles so 3g mobiles la vandu mms was introduced you can also send uh, voice video and data uh, so idhe vandu european standard la vandu they used the term umts umts stands for universal mobile telecommunication system okay so even they they all used it nowadays all mob- we all mobile networks they use digital transmission okay so data transmission used wc cdma le vandu adutha advanced concept wide band code division multiple access to enhance speed data evlo fast ah poguna nama apdi anupra adutha second anga poi seranu nenikrom nama so we expect uh, more more, more uh, configuration that supports high speed isn't it so they started developing wc dma so data transmission rate evlo data transmission rate na nad evlo fast a data pogudhu or the or second ku 384 kilobit of data is passed from 384 kilobits to 2048 kilobits per second data is transmitted okay you must learn wcdma for one word expansion you must learn for one word okay and a few 3g uh, suppliers they used a concept called atm instead of cdma asynchronous transfer mode okay so this was mainly used for uh, mob- wireless isn't it so over the air network it is also called as over the air network with uh, these concepts multi protocol label switching and ip i have taught you ip in the last session ip stands for internet protocol for their backbone network so here also mobility is supported at layer 2 what is layer 2 technology i told you roaming epeyume na bachukonga the mobile technology putta matla layer 2 ngra word it refers to roaming okay so it pro- um, 
actually between heterogeneous access networks it, there was uh, mobility okay so mobility was still supported at uh, layer 2 and hence like 2g it still prohibits seamless roaming beyond heterogeneous access networks and routing domains so heterogeneous what does the word heterogeneous refers to homogeneous abdingrad uh, the same heterogeneous ngrad the uh, different illaya so 2g le nam ide layer 2 patho mobility patho uh, they also uh, gave you um, seamless seamless ngrad enna word sonna nama thada illamal continuous okay so mobility is supported at layer 2 but it cannot be supported for heterogeneous networks heterogeneous networks na enna supposing you are using a vodafone you cannot get connected to a jio tower or an airtel tower heterogeneous na different networks can not do the seamless roaming panna mudiyadhu but same networks na rule you will get seamless roaming okay so if there if you move from one place to another place and and thedli vandu unak adhe vodafone tower nishna it will automatically get connected okay so this transmissions were of the band frequencies 1900 to 2200 megahertz and uh, all umts um, license holders at uk uk stands for united kingdom uk was the first one to launch this 3g uh, mobile networks okay united kingdom so they have a 20 year license for this concept umts license umts stands for universal mobile telecommunication system isn't it so 20 year license with the condition that 80 percentage of the population will have this uh, 3g mobiles by 2007 of course and uh, they have reached it so the present third generation licensed oper um, operators were given 20 years license in uk united kingdom okay and uh, we'll move on to the next one so so far we have learned uh, three generations of mobile networks first generation second generation and third generation we also learned 2.5g that was in between second and third generation which had a, a gprs launch okay now we'll move on to the fourth generation of computers that uh, fourth sorry fourth generation of mobile networks that we are using it now now in the picture you can see a 3g mobile okay and then now we'll move on to the 4g so 4g is what we are using it nowadays isn't it so 4g uh, in your textbook it is given that 4g is at the research stage so research level it is it has come to usage okay so 4g was uh, based on ad hoc networking model ad hoc ngrathu ovvathoru needs ku thaganda maadhiri maarum so there is no fixed infrastructure so it depends namak theviyana apps nama ethikala namak theviyana maadhiri settings ellame nammalala maathikka mudiyum background settings ellame nammalala maathikka mudiyum and that refers to a 4g technology okay so it has global mobility features example mobile ip ella mobiles ko ip number vand internet protocol number so connectivity was ipv6 ip le ipv4 one irk ipv6 one irk you will learn it in lesson number 12 the difference between ip stands for Inter internet protocol ip address ngrathu or global network la or individual device ah kandupidikkuradhu over device ku unique ah or ip address irukku nu sonna so and ip address pathi nama next lesson la padipom ipv4 version 4 enona ip version 6 okay so logically uh, roaming in uh, assorted ip networks for example uh, or uh, wireless lan ah irukalam gprs ah irukalam umt umts ah irukalam where possible okay so what is this assorted ip networks just now in 2g and 3g i said heterogeneous roaming was not allowed we learnt a topic called layer 2 so layer 2 la vandu homogeneous mattumna supposing layer 2 nal ena enna sonna seamless roaming chonna so thadai illama roaming kadaikum so oru edathil endu nee innoru innoru place ku pogum bodu onnoda network enavo andha network irundha mattumna cover aagum supposing uh, for example uh, i know it is not true but anyway i'll tell you as an example okay so supposing uh, oda phone vandu tamil nadu la mattumna irukku it is not in kerala abingrappa supposing you have a uh, sim 
that belongs to a Vodafone network, when you reach the other state, if that network is not there in the other state, you will not be able to receive any signals in case of 2G and 3G mobiles. Heterogeneous allow pannadu. And then the network will occur. The matto na roaming allow pannum. In the mobiles la 2G and 3G mobile networks la. Whereas in 4G mobile networks, look at this point, fifth point. Logically roaming in assorted IP. Assorted dale na na sana different. Okay, assorted IP networks is possible. Okay, so because they had a standard, they have brought a standard called 802.11 standard that represents a wireless standard, wireless LAN. Okay, so GPRS and UMTS, they are all put together as a standard. So that was possible in 4G. So with high data rates, roaming matula at the same time, 4G had an advantage of high data rates. From 2 megabits to 10 to 100 megabits per second. Other way, we have to do this. Okay. And they, were, they had very reduced delays. Romba, delay la romba la. So, signal latency is very good. So, 5G is expected to be more faster than 4G. And it, uh, 4G had many new services as well. So, mobile devices were fixed infrastructure. It is not an expectation. Ola. So, they, they will self-configure -con according to the ad hoc networks. Different networks on the way, that's the way the signal strengths are added as you move around from one place to another. So, it has its own routing cap capabilities to route over a packet-switched network, packets, datagram switched networks. So, you over a topic, it, it all adds to it. So, a topic, you learn TCP, IP, packets, datagram. See, now, now we are learning about mobile networks and the concepts are So, you will have to be uh, in touch with all the lessons. So, when, once you learn a lesson, you learn a topic that is related in the previous lesson. That is the way to continue. Okay. So, this is about 4G. So, 4G is still in extensions and I have given a picture of 4G mobiles. Now, we will move on to 5G network. Okay. So, 5G is the stage that succeeds 4G, 3G and 2G. So, 4G, 3G, 2G are brackets important milestones. 2G is GSM, SIM. GSM technology. SIM is on mobile phone to use it. 2G. And then we learnt in uh, 3G the major uh, uh, milestone was UMTS, European Standard, UK. The, the launch pananga, 3G launch pananga, and uh, the term is Universal Mobile uh, Telecommunication Systems. CDMA technology lay when the, they used WCDMA. So for SIM authentication, I mean data corrupt a hama pakrit kaha nama path on 3G generation. And uh, few 3G generation uh, mobile suppliers, mobile networks also used another technology called ATM, asynchronous transfer mode, isn't it? Over the air network with uh, IP as backbone and uh, MPLS, multi protocol label switching. Na Do you remember these words? You can take your textbook and read it once. Okay. So, now this we learnt few minutes before about 4G. Though in your textbook it is given that 4G is at the research stage, but it is still in existence in all your hands. Okay, you are using your mobile phones. So, now 5G. 5G is the stage that succeeds na another. 2G, 3G, 4G kaadutthu succeed ahi vandhirukku. Succeed na another aduthu varradu. Okay. Not success. Success is different. Succeeding is different. Even will kapra idu vandhu chen soldhukka. So, it succeeds 4G, 3G and 2G. So, 3G we said about 2G it is GSM, 3G we told about UMTS, isn't it? And 4G is LTE, YMAX. We LTE in varadala. What is LTE? Voice. LTE stands for long term evolution. Vivo LTE in the other one all voice space and the geo along. So the term LTE stands for long term evolution. Okay. Now, what is the aim of 5G? 5G targets to high performance, high data rate, fast transmit on in the latency, energy save, cost to reduce, null configuration, high capacity, easy connectivity, targets. 
ஓகே ஃபைவ் ஜி வாஸ் ஏம்ட் அட் டு ரிலீஸ் ஆஃப் டூ ஃபேஸஸ் ரெண்டு ஃபேஸில் அது ரிலீஸ் பண்ணணும்னு நினச்சாங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரிலீஸ் வாஸ் எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் டு கம்ப்ளீட் பை மார்ச் டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீன் அண்ட் த செகண்ட் ஒன் வாஸ் மார்ச் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி so already 5g mobiles are existence in foreign countries from a common away that i've told you at the beginning itself okay um so they were expected to complete and they were they were planning it to submit to the itu international telecommunication union so as a candidate imt 2020 technology they have named it as imt 2020 technology okay so they were uh, aiming to produce a speed of 20 gigabits per second or second la 20 gigabits they are planning to produce 20 gigabits so it is demonstrated with uh, millimeter waves of 15 gigahertz and a higher frequency so 3 gpp standard it includes any network using the new radio software so 5g new radio can access even lower frequencies frequencies ngiradha the enada frequencies the waves endadala transmit agudho adha enada frequencies nu solrom seriya ipa radio la kekringa or particular ipa 98.2 appdin solranga le adha enna solla frequencies so adhula dhaan the signals kedaikum namakku illaya so each one has a each radio channel has a different frequency so speed and lower frequencies are also accepted by 5g mobiles and it is very modest higher than 4g systems so it is estimated to be 15 to 50 percentage faster than 4g 4g a vid 15 to 50 percentage faster irukum and at the same time it can support lower frequencies evlo kammiya signals irundha kuda work aagum appdin solli they have targeted aimed from even frequencies from 600 megahertz to 6 gigahertz where can it can support 5g so that was the target for developing this 5g mobiles so here is a picture of a 5g mobile it may look like this uh, transparent at very highly co- configured with high speed rate okay so this is a comparison of 1g to 5g mobiles so deployment it refers to the year bandwidth it refers to the speed okay and technology is the technical terms that we learnt so far in each and every uh, generation of mobile networks and then multiplexing multiplexing is what we saw it as tdma cdma wcdma etc atm asynchronous trans uh, mode transfer mode so switching packet switching see nowadays we all it all comes under packet switching tcp ip packet switching network and uh, hands of so hands of it can be horizontal as well as it can be vertical in 4g mobiles isn't it whereas still 3g mobiles you were only able to see it only horizontally now even in 5g mobiles it can be horizontal as well as vertical so this is a comparison between uh, different generations of mobile networks